London Interbank Offered Rate. It's the rate at which the banks are prepared to lend to each other and the benchmark. But this is how it's set. Around 11 o'clock in the morning, the BBA asks, at what rate could you borrow to the banks between themselves? Now, it's not asking at what rate did you or may you or perhaps thinking of, but what rate you could borrow if you needed money. The banks then go and try and work out what the rate is and they respond. Again, it's very much, this is the rate we think we could borrow at. It's not factual as such. And that was one of the big problems. Once they've put in their submissions at 11.45, the BBA publishes LIBOR. The benchmark has been set. The world has been told. And so, all other interest rates, for credit cards in some cases, for home loans, uh, for all sorts of rolling over of debt. And if you want to see exactly how LIBOR is used, look at this. This is Citadelli. It is a Latvian bank, and it's the private customers, uh, the rates that they would offer. Home loans, mortgage loans, standing credit cards, car leasing. And what you notice when you look at the terms and conditions, LIBOR, 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 LIBOR. Anybody borrowing money from this bank has a LIBOR plus 3.6, a LIBOR plus 1.56, LIBOR plus, LIBOR plus. Time and again, it is the LIBOR rate that makes the difference. And that is why, in this particular case, it was all so serious what happened with LIBOR.